The greatest three weeks in sports is finally here. That's right, it's March Madness. And I have a strong feeling by the end of this week, we will all be putting the mad into March Madness. I can already tell that this year's tournament is going to be fun and exciting. Way more than last year's tournament. Because there are so many teams that can win it all this year. And a lot of Cinderella teams can also pull off some first or second round upsets. And before I get to what my bracket looks like, let me just say, I don't think I've ever seen an NCAA tournament that is this wide open than it is this year. Let me just give you a small preview of what we might expect in this year's tournament. The first four. I see at least two of those four games being really competitive. And in the first round, Alston was the round of 64. That's the best round. It sets the tone for what teams are here to compete or which ones are just pretenders. Because usually what it is in the years past, the round of 64 teams, some of them may not take a certain team seriously, which is why the games have been close over the years. Which is probably what happened to Iowa State and Baylor last year as they were three seeds got upset by a 14 seed. Either that or the mid-major schools are just happy that they're there and they feel no pressure. Like some of these major teams like Kansas and Duke and North Carolina. Even Kentucky and Villanova and Iowa State. Even Michigan State. Now... It is time to reveal my bracket. Now my bracket is inside this portfolio. I will slowly grab it out because I don't want it to accidentally reveal the bracket and it will spoil the video for you guys that have been waiting such a long time for this moment. So here we go. Let's start with the first four. I'll start off with the 16 seeds, Florida Gulf Coast and Friar Dickinson. I'm going to pick Florida Gulf Coast in this one because I think that this year they're going to be ready to play in this one. Especially after the last tournament they were in. They shocked the world by upsetting Georgetown. I think it was San Diego State in the tournament th about two or three years ago. And then the other 16 seed matchup, Holy Cross and Southern. I'm actually going to pick Southern in that one even though, even though the 16 seeds don't really matter because Historically, a 16 seed has never beaten a 1 seed. So even if I get this wrong, I know it's kind of cheating, but these don't really matter. I just picked those just for pride. And now, these are the last four teams that were into the tournament. Vanderbilt and Wichita State. And to be honest, I don't know why both these teams are in. I think they only put in Wichita State because of their history of making tournament runs. And with Vanderbilt, I just think that they beat a couple solid teams, and that's probably what got him in there. I do really want to see Vanderbilt compete. Anyway, I like Wichita State to win that one. To face Arizona in the 6-11 matchup. In the south side of the bracket. And now Michigan and Tulsa. Again, I don't know why Tulsa's in there. Because Tulsa did not do enough for me, in my opinion, to deserve a shot in this tournament. And with Michigan, if you didn't watch my college basketball preview video, I said maybe Michigan could sneak into the Final Four. I'll put the link in the description below, in the description box below of that video. That way you can watch it. That way you know what I'm talking about. And if you also didn't see, um, I believe it was Thursday's video of the emotion of stereotypes in March Madness, I'll also put that in the description box so you can also check that one out. But I'm going to guess that you're going to watch this one first. Anyway, I like Michigan over Tulsa in that first four game. I just think Michigan is coming on strong lately, especially in the Big Ten tournament. So I like them to win by a handful of points. Now let's get to the south side of the bracket. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go left to right. This is the first quadrant of the bracket. So it goes first... 4th quadrant, 2nd quadrant, and 3rd quadrant. And we have Kansas and Austin P. I have Kansas, of course. Colorado and Connecticut. I'm picking UConn. Because UConn has come, has come off strong in their conference tournament. It's just that 4-overtime victory against Cincinnati. 
That's what propelled them into the tournament. Next, Maryland, South Dakota State. Now this is this is a five twelve game. It's really it's gonna be really competitive in my opinion. But I like Maryland to take this one. I think South Dakota State's gonna make him earn it. I think Maryland will earn the victory in a close one. California and Hawaii. I like California in this one. I also would not be surprised if Hawaii made them earn it as well. Arizona and Wichita State. Now this is a great matchup in my opinion, but I like Arizona to win this one. Then Miami, Florida, and Buffalo. I like Miami to take that one. Iowa and Temple. Now both these teams have looked pretty weak as of late. But I like Iowa to win this one. I think Iowa's had more rest than Temple has. And I think that's going to be the difference for Iowa. But it wouldn't surprise me if Temple won this one. Villanova and North Carolina, Asheville. I like Villanova to win this one. Villanova has a history of losing in the second round and going home. But they're going to make it to the first round just fine, in my opinion. Now, Oregon and that and Southern, since Southern won the 16C playing game, I like Oregon. I think Oregon's just come off really strong in, in the last month and a half, ever since the Pac-12 play. They've come on really strong. St. Joseph's and Cincinnati. I like Cincinnati. Baylor and Yale. Now, Yale is in their first ever NCAA tournament. So I know that Yale will want to really earn this victory, but I like Baylor to win this one. Duke and North Carolina Willingham. I actually like Duke. Duke has a history of losing to mid-major teams in the first round. But I don't think it will happen this year. I think Coach K is going to get his boys ready for that one. So I like Duke. Texas and Northern Iowa. Now this is the big 6-11 matchup in my opinion. This is technically the first upset I have. I like Northern Iowa to upset Texas. Now we have Texas and versus Green Bay. Now this is going to be a great matchup. Green Bay is a really good team. But I like Texas A&M to win this one. It would not surprise me if Green Bay won that game, though. It just would not surprise me at all. Oregon State and VCU. This is another fantastic matchup in the first round. But I like Oregon State to win that one. Oklahoma and California Bakersfield. I like Oklahoma to win that one. Not much of an explanation. Buddy Heald, Ryan Spangler, Jordan Woodard, Isaiah Cousins. Not much explanation needed for that one. North Carolina and Florida Gulf Coast. Now, Florida Gulf Coast is going to fight for this victory. But North Carolina is just a way better team than Florida Gulf Coast. North Carolina wins that one. Although I've seen some people want Florida Gulf Coast to win on my Twitter timeline. So it would not surprise me if Florida Gulf Coast made North Carolina earn this victory. USC and Providence. Now both these teams are really strong. But I like Providence to win this one because I think Providence has done much better in the regular season than USC has. And plus Providence has Chris Dunn, potentially a top 10 pick in this, in this year's NBA draft. Indiana and Chattanooga. I like Indiana to win this one. And then Kentucky and Stony Brook. Now Stony Brook is also in their First ever NCAA tournament appearance. If I'm wrong on that, comment below that I made a mistake. But I like Kentucky to win this one. I just think Kentucky's just going to dominate all over Stony Brook. I like Kentucky to win that one by at least 15. Although, Stony Brook has the potential to pull off the upset. But I just don't see it happening, in my honest opinion. Notre Dame and Michigan. This is a, another great matchup. A 6 vs. 11. Now these two used to play each other all the time in football and it's a huge rivalry. And I wouldn't expect any different. But I have to give the edge to Notre Dame. Notre Dame has been strong all season. They've been so consistent in beating top teams. I like Notre Dame to win this one. West Virginia and Stephen F. Austin. Now this is a 3 vs. 14 matchup. I do have West Virginia win this one, but it would not surprise me if Stephen F. Austin pulled off this upset. Stephen F. Austin has the potential to pull off the upset against West Virginia because all West Virginia does is full court press. And if Stephen F. Austin can handle the full court press, then West Virginia is going to be in some trouble. So I like West Virginia to win by a close margin. Wisconsin and Pittsburgh. Now, Wisconsin has looked hot in the past 
ever since about the beginning of February. Now I can beat Pittsburgh, simply because Wisconsin is coming on strong. Usually the the heavy hitting teams they come on strong toward the beginning of the tournament. So I like Wisconsin to win this one. Xavier versus Weber State. I like Xavier to win this one. I think Xavier's had some rest to get over that Big East tournament loss to Seton Hall. I like Xavier to be ready in that one. Now Virginia versus Hampton. I like Virginia in that one. Texas Tech and Butler. Now both these teams are really good. They've had great seasons. But I like Butler to win this one. Even though Butler is not what they used to be, Butler is known for making magical tournament runs. They've been to the championship game twice. And I like Butler to pull off the upset against Texas Tech because Texas Tech has lost to teams like TCU. And TCU's not that good of a team in basketball, so I like Butler. Purdue versus Arkansas Little Rock. Now I have no 12 seeds over the 5, and that's the most common upset in the first round. But I, I like Purdue in this one. I think Purdue is just a just a, a great team. Purdue could make the Sweet 16. Tell me what happens in this next match between Iowa State and Iona. I like Iowa State to win this one. Now Seton Hall and Gonzaga. This is probably the best 6-11 matchup there is out there. Seton Hall has won the, won the Big East Conference Tournament. And Gonzaga is really coming on strong. But I have to give the edge to Seton Hall in this one. Seton Hall's got a young, they got a young team, but they can play together as a team and watch them the Big East tournament. I really think they're going to go far in this one. Utah and Fresno State. <clears throat> now Utah has not looked good to me lately, and Fresno State, they really, I think Fresno State has a boost of confidence for winning the conference tournament, their conference tournament. So I like Fresno State to upset Utah in the first round. I understand it may not happen, but that's something I think could happen. And that's what I have in this bracket. Dayton and Syracuse. I like Dayton in this one. I don't know why Syracuse is in the tournament. So I like Dayton to win this one. Michigan State and Middle Tennessee. I like Michigan State in this one, of course. Tom Izzo always has his has his team ready in the tournament. And they're gonna I think they're gonna easily gonna handle this Middle Tennessee team. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now on to the next round. And let me just say before I reveal who I have next, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been honest with you this whole time. This is not the only bracket I'm filling out. I fill out multiple brackets each year, but this is the bracket I'm using for the Johnny Talk Sports March Madness bracket. I'll end up filling out more brackets throughout the week. I may tweet the pictures of the brackets. Or I might reveal them at the end of the tournament. I haven't decided yet. I could do a little bit of both. Now, Kansas and UConn. I like Kansas in that one. UConn has had a magical run so far in March, but I think it ends here. I think Kansas is just way too overpowering over UConn. Maryland and California. I like Maryland in this one. I think I like this to be a great matchup between Mellow Trimble. And California's got some great players, too. I like this one to be a close one. Arizona, Miami, Florida. This is a second round upset, the six over three. I'm taking Arizona in that one. And now we have Iowa and Villanova. Now Villanova has a history of losing in the second round. But it does not happen this year. I like Villanova to beat Iowa. Oregon and Cincinnati. I like Oregon to win that one. Baylor and Duke. I like Duke to win this one. Baylor just doesn't look like a a team that can make it to the Final Four, let alone Elite Eight, Sweet 16. I like Duke to win this one. Northern Iowa and Texas A&M. I got to pick Texas A&M in this one. Northern Iowa beat North Carolina this season when they were number one, but Marcus Page was not in that game. They beat Wichita State. Wichita State barely got into the tournament. They were one of the last four in. I'm not disrespecting Northern Iowa, but I don't think they can beat Texas A&M. Oregon State and Oklahoma. I like Oklahoma to win this one. Again, Buddy Heald, Ryan Spangler, and all the, and all the boys. North Carolina and Providence. I like North Carolina. Indiana, Kentucky. Big matchup here. You got Yogi Farron and, and the gang from Kentucky. 
But I'm going to pick the gang from Kentucky here because Calipari always has his Kentucky teams prepared for the tournament. So I'm picking Kentucky. Notre Dame and West Virginia. I, like, I got to give the edge to Notre Dame in this matchup. Again, with West Virginia. I did say I wouldn't be surprised if Stephen F. Austin upset West Virginia in the first round. But either way, I like Notre Dame in the Sweet 16. Wisconsin and Xavier. This is another second round upset I have. I have the Badgers beating Xavier. I just think the Badgers know how to win games, and I think they can beat Xavier. I think Xavier's going to play bad in the first half. They won't be able to recover in the second half because Wisconsin will, sh will shoot a bunch of three-pointers, especially from Nigel Hayes and Josh Gosser. Or is it Bronson Kading? I'm not sure. Wisconsin fans, comment below on that one. Virginia and Butler. This is, Butler's, this is where the Butler run ends. I like Virginia to win that one. I think Virginia has looked so good during the conference tournament and the last week of the regular season. I like Virginia to win. Purdue and Iowa State. I like Iowa State to win, especially with Iowa State being filled by fire this year after losing in the first round last year. They'll be filled by fire. They'll beat Purdue, in my opinion. Seton Hall and Fresno State. The run for Seton Hall continues. I like Seton Hall to advance. Dayton and Michigan State. This is a wonderful matchup. Archie Miller versus Tom Izzo. Their team's going at it. But i got to give the edge to Tom Izzo. I like Michigan State. And now we're in the Sweet 16. Kansas and Arizona. Oh, sorry. Spoiler alert. Kansas and Maryland. I like Kansas to win that one. Arizona and Villanova. I have Arizona upsetting Villanova there. Again, sorry for the spoiler. I just wanted to get that one out quickly. Oregon and Duke. I like Duke to upset Oregon right here. The run for Oregon is going to end eventually. And it's going to be right there when they play Coach K and the Duke Blue Devils. Texas Sam and Oklahoma. The run for Texas Sam is going to end right here too. I like Oklahoma to win that one. North Carolina versus Kentucky. I like Kentucky to win this one. It's going to be the probably the greatest matchup. I think it's going to be the greatest Sweet 16 matchup there is. I like Kentucky to win by exactly one point. Notre Dame and Wisconsin. The run for the Badgers will end right here. I like Notre Dame to win this one, setting up an Elite 8 rematch of last year in Kentucky-Notre Dame. Virginia and Iowa State. I'm going to pick Iowa State to upset Virginia in this one. I just think George Neings and McKay and Morris, I think they're going to overpower Virginia right toward the end of the game, about the last five minutes. I think Iowa, will turn on the, Iowa State will turn on the Jets and upset Virginia. Seton Hall and Michigan State. The run for Seton Hall is going to end here. I like Michigan State to win. Now into the Elite Eight. Now finally, Kansas and Arizona. I like Kansas to advance to the Final Four in this one. Although I did say in the preview video as well that Arizona could be in the Final Four this year. But once again, the run for Arizona ends in the round of the Elite Eight. I like Kansas to move on to the Final Four. Duke and Oklahoma. This is going to be a wonderful matchup as well. But I like Duke to win against Oklahoma. I just think that Duke is going to be more prepared than Oklahoma will be. So I like Duke to move on and play Kansas in the Final Four. Kentucky and Notre Dame. Notre Dame's going to make it close. It's going to be kind of like last year's matchup, but Kentucky's going to win right at the very end. Kentucky always shines toward the end of the game. So I like Kentucky. Iowa State and Michigan State. This is the final piece of the round of the lead where the Final Four is determined in my prediction bracket. To end the suspense, I am going to pick Michigan State to win against Iowa State. Tom Izzo has the boys ready for this one, as they did last year in the Final Four when they were a seventh seed. I'd like them to make the Final Four again this year. And now on to the Final Four. Kansas versus Duke. Let me just preview the two Final Four games real quick. Historically, the first game is close for a while, but then it gets to a blowout toward the end. And the second game is usually competitive from start to finish. 
I'm just going to put that out there right now while I was doing this. So Kansas versus Duke. I like Kansas to win by about a solid five to seven points. I just think this is Kansas' year. They're going to be fueled by fire after what's been happening to them the last two years, losing their second round. So I like them to advance to the championship game. Kentucky versus Michigan State. Now both these teams, so far in this prediction bracket, they've been coming up strong, winning games in the in the trenches, but in the end, I like Kentucky setting up a rematch of the championship matchup about three or four years ago. Kansas versus Kentucky, but this time, I like the Jayhawks to take it all. Anyway, that is my bracket. Please comment below what you think. And once again, this right here, this is not going to be my only bracket that I fill out. I'll probably have many more to come, but this is the only one that will be on video. Enjoy the tournament. And please do not get sad when your bracket gets busted because you committed to it. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the tournament.